Hi, I'm Rebecca Mara, and this is my dog, Baby. She's a cute little golden doodle. And I wanted to talk today about something that's super exciting and really fun for me to talk about, um, and that is the world of psychedelics and healing work. My best friend uh, was an ayahuasca shaman for uh, eight years. So I've seen a lot of just contact with angels and people doing really deep healing on lots and lots of different levels. Um, and all of my really good friends that are really, really amazing, amazing therapists, um, top of their game, have been doing ketamine-assisted therapy, among other things, to assist their clients in healing more quickly. So what's awesome about uh, psychedelic assisted therapy um, is that you are working with some really deep parts of people so you get you're working with parts that are really undefended uh, because of the medicine it kind of breaks down the default mode network um, all the typical ego egoic defenses and personality things <clears throat> they kind of melt and they can't function as well as they normally would. And so deeper truths start to come up. Um, and also there's a lot more uh, neural connection happening. The brain is talking all over the place. And so parts that got kind of separated out and compartmentalized or hidden away have an opportunity to come up. And then on more of a light side, what happens with all those neural connections is that you have capacity to see and experience things in a totally new way. And so that could be like having a profound spiritual experience that does a lot of healing for you, or it might be just a totally different way of seeing a situation and, and being able to bring compassion or healing to it. And with all of, with all of these um, psychedelic therapies, you don't know exactly what's going to happen, right? There's no, there's no way to say this is what your brain and your body is going to do. So when you're doing these, this psychedelic work for healing, what you're looking for is um, just an openness to what the medicine is there to teach you. And you may have spirit guides coming in. You might not notice that. It could be really challenging. It could be just the most beautiful experience you've never had or you've ever had. Um, and I would say that um, right now most people are working with ketamine because it's it's legalized for a therapist to prescribe, or I'm sorry, for a therapist to work with a nurse practitioner that can prescribe the ketamine for uh, ketamine-assisted therapy. And my best friends that are just incredible therapists have been loving doing ketamine-assisted therapy because their clients are just able to grow and heal faster. It's getting past all that deeper stuff. It's, it's creating capacity to rewire the brain. It's creating more neuroplasticity. Psychedelics even are shown to, um, to be neuroprotective sometimes, which is amazing. But there's something awesome about psychedelics because they can bring trauma to the surface to be resolved. And they can also just give you a beautiful experience that you can integrate in, uh, into your life that creates a new meaning, a new way of experiencing yourself in the world. So these are some reasons why psychedelics have, have become decriminalized in Colorado. DMT, uh, psilocybin, and um, ketamine have become decriminalized in Colorado, which is incredible, which means that you can, at home, do any of them yourself for your own healing journey um, with caution, hopefully, in a very, a very special container. <laughs> Um, the container makes all the difference, by the way. Uh, but also, you know, I've had so many clients and, and friends tell me about how how amazing it's been for them to microdose psilocybin. Like I've had people that were um, severely depressed and then they started microdosing psilocybin and all of a sudden their brain is functioning better. There's more neural connection. Um, there's more neo neurogenesis where the neurons actually get to generate more, whereas you know, with stress and depression, it actually kills, and trauma, it actually kills the neural connections and destroys brain tissue, which is kind of wild. So anyway, um, all of this is, is just really, really beautiful. I've been to so many ceremonies. I don't even know how many ceremonies and 
experiences that I've had and they are very interdimensional. I can bring up my own personal traumas to be healed, um, can bring me into like really beautiful, so many spiritual experiences. Um, but the, the thing that's most important to talk about in this video for now, and I know I'm a little bit all over the place, so, so thanks for being patient. The most important part is the integration work. So you can go have a journey and you can think like, oh yeah, this is gonna, this is gonna be it. This is the thing that's gonna change my life. And it might, but you can't put that power in a journey. Our brains and our bodies literally need to be rewired consistently over time to have really permanent lasting change. And so that's kind of cool because then you're not giving your power to a medicine you're not giving your power to some kind of plant ceremony. Um, you're actually taking the power into your hands in order to create the change yourself in your day-to-day -day life. And that takes some willpower, that takes inspiration, that takes effort, and <clears throat> it's the most important part of any healing journey. And I, can, I can't stress that enough. It's the most important part of any healing journey is the integration work and that means hardwiring whatever that new pattern is whatever that new belief is into your body so that you have lasting change and what's awesome about, about psychedelics is that they get past that default mode network of how we normally experience the world they open things up it creates more connectivity and then even after you've done the journey you have this period of time up to two weeks or so, it's you know it's more neuroplastic in the beginning, right in that afterglow stage, but your brain's really neuroplastic. So that means whatever change you try to bring, to, uh, whatever change you try to introduce to it, actually sticks more. There's more um, staying power for change, which is really really awesome. So that's a little bit about psychedelics and integration in a nutshell, and <clears throat> I'm super happy to be working with the integration work, especially with ketamine. Um, one of the benefits of ketamine is that it's a really soft, gentle medicine, um, and it's short-lived. It tends to not be as intense as something like DMT or ayahuasca or psilocybin because they can, they're can they less predictable. That could be just amazing or it could be hellish um, or anything in between, which is why having you know a proper container and someone holding space for you is a really, really, really important instead of just doing it at home by yourself. Um, but ketamine is, is really soft. It's a fast journey and it's, it's just more of a kind medicine, I would say. Um, and what I've noticed with the ketamine therapy is that it kind of, it neutralizes things that seemed like a really big deal or things that felt really stressful or overwhelming um, or that you really had a problem with, it takes the, takes the charge out of it. So you're more in this non-dual space that's not detached, it's not detached, but you're in more contact with, um, you're able to be with life as it is more, or with things that have happened, you're like, I'm okay, I can find okayness with this. And I have a client that, <clears throat> she's one of my favorite examples, but she was going through an awful, break up with the love of her life and was just in a trauma spiral and struggling so badly and um, was moving toward addiction and um, had a lot of anxiety, a lot of depression. And after her first uh, ketamine ceremony in, in a safe container, her brain was different. She even saw her ex the next week and he said, you seem, you seem well. And she's like, yeah, I do feel well. And normally that would never happen. Like she would just be in the red, her attachment system all over the place. Um, but she's she's done four sessions, which is is really important, especially with the, the bigger doses. If you're trying to create more lasting change, you should really do at least three to six sessions within a short um, time frame. That just it's what actually creates the most change in the brain are those higher doses within a short time frame. Um, and then afterward, you kind of, you know, you go back and you do booster sessions as needed when you need another reset. But seeing her life change from, from these ketamine sessions has been 
incredible. And I know this is a special case and it doesn't happen for everyone, but you know, maybe because a lot of my clients are already pretty spiritual people, um, at least half of everybody have seen angels or they've gotten messages from spirit guides and um, sometimes deceased loved ones. They, with the ketamine, you leave your body, it's dissociative. And so you're, um, you're up and out in these more liberated realms where everything isn't so bad, it isn't so hard. And so popping out of the body and having that experience and that perspective actually helps with healing and finding okayness um, with what is. And it really calms down the triggers in, in our bodies. Um, man, I could go off on a whole different topic about ketamine and how it works. Um, it's been proven to stop people that have suicidal ideation. You know, you could feel like you want to kill yourself one day and you do a ketamine session and that desire to kill yourself is gone. It's really cool how powerful the medicine is in that way. Um, it's helped people with treatment resistant depression, which means, um, people that have not responded to antidepressants or anything and they just can't get out of depression. It's, it creates this reset. Um, it works on glutamate and NDMA receptors. So it actually slows down, um, like kind of stress, uh, synaptic synapses. It slows things down so that there's more space between your thoughts um, and it also actually creates more neural connections in your brain. So with depression, your neural connections stop, your, your neurons stop connecting as much. And so when you get more neural connections in your brain, there's more information between all the different parts and we just feel happier. Our brain's working better. It's healthier and all of that. So, um, I just wanted to talk about that and once again the integration and the set and the setting you know it's the creating a sacred space a sacred container is extremely important um, for all of this work and I'm gonna end this video here cuz I, I feel like I'm rambling a little bit but I'll do a new video <laughs> that's a little bit more concise sometime soon but I just wanted to get started with this one and feel free to reach out to me with any questions about doing integration work. Um, it's really powerful and it's also just such a nice break to be able to have an experience that's so unique and so outside of our ordinary consciousness. So I hope you have a wonderful day and thanks for listening.